this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and today we're going to show you how to make a soap bag. You're going to need some ribbon or FOE, some towel, and some cotton fabric. First we're going to measure out our rectangle for the back of the soap bag and I am using some towel fabric. You could upcycle fab, um, towels or you could buy some of this at the store. This was from the remnants bin. And I believe each of these is five by six. I am making three different bags, so I am cutting three different um, cuts of the towel fabric. For the front, we're gonna be using some cotton fabric. You can use other types of fabric, that's fine. But I am using some cute different um, designs for cotton fabric. We've got some Paw Patrol. And each of these is five inches wide by four inches and you make two for each bag you're going to be making because they're going to overlap to give you a place to put your soap inside and as you can see we have um, three pieces of the towel fabric we have two cuts for the paw patrol two cuts for the wonder woman and two cuts for hot pants we're going to start off by sewing just a hem on one side of each wonder woman or each fabric So as you can see, we sewed up just a hem, one side of each piece. And I just double folded, pressed it, and then sewed a straight stitch right across. That way when they overlap, we don't have to worry about fraying fabric um, because these ends will be loose even when they're being washed. So I did the same with my Paw Patrol fabric, which actually I probably should have um, I should have looked at closer when I was cutting so that I could have gotten more of the Paw Patrol on there. But. And um, then for our Hot Wheels fabric as well. This one's a little bit more than this. So I'm going to show you now what we're going to do for our next step. Okay. For our next step, we are going to take each fabric. We want to separate these out because um, obviously we're making three different um, three different soap holders and here's our piece of um, towel and you could upcycle a regular towel for this this is actually towel fabric I found in the remnants bin so uh, I got a good deal on it so that's what I was going for and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this over and overlap our, our um, cotton fabrics and we want to just go ahead and pin or clip these together so that it holds it in place while we're sewing. Okay. I also want to add my elastic so this elastic is just a little handle so that they have something to hold on to. I you, I'm using scraps of FOE, which is fold over elastic. You could use ribbon, you can use whatever you want, but I have these and I wanted to use them because they're too short to do too much with that I actually need. So you wanna add your um, elastic in as well. And you can kind of put them anywhere you want really. I am going to stuff mine here. And I'm just going to clip it in. So that way I can sew over it when I'm sewing. This will leave it at the coming out of the top. I'm going to do the same thing with my other two fabrics. So my next one. And again, I'm facing this um, right sides up, I think. <laughs> um, This one I'm going to use this dark blue. Do this guy and overlap this guy.
Okay, now that we have them clipped, all we need to do is go sew all the way around. We do not have to leave a place to turn and top stitch because we're gonna turn right through this center piece right here. And again, we are facing our fabrics right sides together. You may want to back stitch at these areas where the fabric meets because it will get a little bit more wear and tear there. Now this is where your elastic is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back stitch over that a couple times. Okay. And this is where it ends. Now I wanna turn it over and make sure I did not miss any spots. See here, I missed a spot. It's just because I cut my I caught in a little too big. So I'm just going to go back over and fix it. Okay. And as you can see, I went all the way around. And all I have to do now, I'm going to cut the corners, making sure not to get, um, not to cut across the. To cut the corners making sure not to cut the, um, the thread here or not not the stitching rather so, and you want to trim off any extra excess I'm not too worried about this I should be using my other scissors for this, but whatever. as you can see Finish off my threads. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've got my soap holder. I can flip it right sides out. And I'm finished. I can also top stitch around this if I want. Um, I may do one like that, um, just to show you what it looks like, and then do the other two without doing that. Well, depending on how. Let's see. And that's what it looks like if it, you top stitch it too. And you just sneak your soap right in there. And you can e use either side to wash yourself, but the side with the, the fuzz will um, definitely lather a little better. So that's it. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other two. Just to show you the difference real quick, um, you saw what my seam looked like on the inside for my regular um, sewing machine. This is a serger, and the reason I use my serger for this is because the um, this fabric frays a lot, the, um, the towel fabric. So I wanted to try using my serger for the other two. I may actually top stitch these because, um, just for an additional protection, but um, this stuff frays so much that if you have a serger, it is nice to use it um, and try to 
make sure your edges won't fray as you put it through the wash because you will probably want to wash these occasionally, particularly um, you know every time you go through a bar of soap, just throw this through the washer. Um, you know, always a good plan, and they're easy to wash. So don't throw them in with the soap in there because you will make a big mess. So that's it. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you can just add your soap in. It slips in just <laughs> slips in just like it would a pillow. I didn't do enough overlap on mine though, so I wanted to make sure that the soap wouldn't be able to fall out. So I added a quick snap. Um, I have a great video on adding snaps. If you look through, um, that'll help you if you're not sure how to use a snap um, snap pliers. But that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed. It's really easy to make these and they're a great project for small scraps of fabric. Thanks so much. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.